play it. I know the second half was really good, that first half. A long goal, should have, you should have, if that's the challenge you need to have, and maybe what it was, but it had to start. Things like this happen in football. It doesn't make you a, a worse person or player or whatever. You have to react, um, and he reacted well the second half. Well, Chan was the topic of debate in the studio after the game and his role in next week's huge Super Sunday clash with Manchester City. For an hour, he was poor, to say the least. You know, everything he did didn't seem to go right. He played a defensive role, it didn't seem to suit him. But when you score a goal, I think if you ask any footballer who's ever played the game at any level, once you score, you turn into Lionel Messi. You think there is nothing you can't do on the football field. I think that happened to him. He became, he got started to get confident and then the game changed him. And it was a big moment in the game. I think the only one real role he can play is where he played today, sitting in the field, playing because he needs legs around him. And he's playing Jordan Henderson ahead of him. Now, he's got a contract situation at the moment, Henry Chan. Is he going to sign? Is he not? I think he may have 12 months at the end of, uh, end of the season. So there's a good chance he may not be here next season because I don't see when the first 11's picked where else he can play except that role. And that role is for the captain, for Jordan Henderson. And I can see how much he's missed in the last three or four games he's been out. A Craig Shakespeare will take training at Leicester this morning after being given the manager's job until the end of the season. We'll hear from him at lunchtime as he prepares for tomorrow's Champions League last 16 tie against Sevilla. Shakespeare has been the interim manager since Claudio Ranieri was sacked last month. He won both of his matches, which ended a run of five straight defeats. And the board believes he deserves a chance to stay in charge. Well, Hull's win means Leicester only three points clear of trouble in the busy weekend for them with Craig Shakespeare appointed. Uh, Alan, former Leicester player, right right decision for you, that? Well, yeah, I think so. I mean, putting aside the whole Ranieri thing, which still leaves a bit to taste, um, Craig has grasped his chance. Two wins out of two. Uh, the players clearly <laughs> like him. Um, and why wouldn't you give it in now? Uh, they're not over committing. Uh, it, might, it might just be, it's a new job for, for Craig, number one, isn't it? But, uh, so he, he will be learning all the time. Um, but to the end of the season makes absolute sense because, you know, I, I don't think Leicester are going to be in any trouble relegation wise. I think they'll gradually be. Right. I think they'll be okay, you know, if they play like they have been the last couple of games, they'll definitely be okay. Um, and, and Shakespeare's been a part of that. You know, it'll be interesting in the summer to see what the owners do more long term, whether they go for somebody more experienced. But you know, if he keeps getting good results like this, he'll be in, he'll be in the running for it. So, it, how much of a risk is it that the fact that he's never managed full time before, just to the end of the season? Do you think that's okay? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, you've got to manage somewhere for the first time. Sometimes, you know, Steve McLaren being sacked, a lot of people saying he's a better number two than a number one. Uh, that's always something that's levelled against 